Safari ya kujaza nafasi ya jaji mkuu imeanza rasmi hii leo huku jaji wa mahakama ya kuu Said Juma Chitembwe akiwa wa kwanza kupigwa msasa. Chitembwe alikuwa na wakati mgumu kujitetea kuhusiana na uamuzi wake wa kesi ya dhulma dhidi ya binti wa chini ya miaka 18 mbali na tuhuma za ufisadi zilizomkabili miaka ya nyuma. Chitembwe kwa wakati fulani akitokwa na machozi alipokuwa akijitetea. Jaji Said Juma Chitembwe alifika mbele ya tume ya huduma za mahakama ambapo alihojiwa kuhusu azma yake ya kuwania wadhifa wa jaji mkuu on matters involving integrity na punde si punde maswali alianza makamishna wa tume hiyo wakitaka kujua mipango yake ya kuimarisha idara ya mahakama if i were to be the new cj i will not even initiate any new law court i would wait until all those which are in the process of being built to be completed because i think we have a quite a number of projects which are ongoing and the resources seems to be limited. Chitembo akifichua kuwa sawa na David Maraga, swala kuu kwake ni kupunguza mirundiko ya kesi mahakamani. Hata hivyo jaji huyo alijipata mashakani pale makamishna walipoangazia baadhi ya kesi alizosimamia na kutoa uamuzi hasa kuhusu swala tata la ubakaji. Chitembo alieleza tume hiyo kuwa hakufanya kosa alipomwachilia huru Martin Charo aliyekuwa amefungwa miaka ishirini kwa kumdhulumu kimapenzi msichana mdogo Assuming I was wrong and I was to convict Can you compare Martin Charo with somebody who violently pulls a young girl to the bush and defiles yet all of them gets the same sentence na haya kuishia hapo maswali pia aliibuka kuhusu kesi ya ufisadi iliyomkabili mnamo mwaka wa 2009 It's good you have asked uh, some of these questions Japo hakupatikana rahatia jaji Chitembwe alishindwa kujizuia alipozungumzia hilo akisema haya alipita lakini alimfunza kuhusu machungu ya wengi wanaoshtakiwa bila ya kuwa na hatia As you sit as a judicial officer you should be able to sift out what has been brought for serving other purposes and what has been genuinely brought as a court case. Kuhusiana majaji 41 ambao bado hawajaapishwa, Chitembwe alilaumu tume hiyo iliyowaajiri majaji hao. Hata hivyo, alisema atajaribu kila wezalo ili kuhakikisha majaji wameapishwa. Wakati huo huo mahakama kuu imedinda kusitisha shughuli hii ya kuwapiga msasa waliorodheshwa kuwa ni kiti cha jaji mkuu baada ya mkenya mmoja kufika mahakamani kupinga kuwepo kwa naibu mwenyekiti wa JSC Profesa Olive Mugenda